Today I'm going to tell you the story of Little Red Riding Hood. Now, that wasn't her real name, but it was what everyone called her because of the fabulous red hood that she had. And she wore it everywhere. In fact, it was something that her grandmother had made for her, and she loved it so much, almost as much as she loved her grandmother. Now her grandmother lived just across the woods from her, and so Red would walk on that path between her grandmother's house and her house often, almost every day. One day, Red's mom told her, your grandmother is feeling sick today, so I'd like you to take her a basket of goodies. And can you do it by walking on your path through the woods? Well, of course, Red said, yes, she would love to take care of grandma in that way. So her mom packed up the basket of goodies and Red carried it with her as she went through the woods. As Red walked through the woods, the first person she met was the woodcutter, and he had some advice for her. Little Red Riding Hood, I'm the woodcutter, and I would advise you to beware of the big bad wolf. I will, Mr. Woodcutter, I will. Now, Little Red Riding Hood meant to follow the advice of the woodcutter, but there was one problem. She didn't even know what a wolf would look like. So when a stranger, another stranger, came up to her in the forest, she didn't know it was the big bad wolf. This stranger had some questions for her. Hello, little girl. Are you going to see someone in particular? Oh, yes, said Little Red Riding Hood. I am bringing my grandmother a basket full of goodies. Oh, well, where does your grandmother live? Oh, she lives along the path at the end of the woods. Well, that sounds nice. You have a good day, Little Red Riding Hood. Okay, said Little Red Riding Hood. And off raced the wolf and on walked Red. While Red Riding Hood stayed on the path, the wolf knew the quickest way to that cottage, and he raced and raced and got there first before Red Riding Hood. When the wolf got to the cottage, he knocked on the door. Knock, knock, knock. Who is it? said the grandma. It is I, Little Red Riding Hood, said the wolf in his best Little Red Riding Hood imitation. Oh, come in, my dear, said the grandma, and the wolf did. And immediately the grandma knew it was not Little Red Riding Hood. Oh, she said, and arr, said the wolf, and the wolf captured her and put her in the closet and tied her up and covered her mouth so that she could not warn Little Red Riding Hood what was happening. Ha, 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 said the wolf. Before the wolf put Granny in the closet, he grabbed her shawl and her hat and he tried to dress up just like her. Do you think that would fool Little Red Riding Hood? Well, we shall see. He tucked himself in Granny's bed and waited. Soon enough, knock, knock, knock came at the door and it was Little Red Riding Hood. Who is it? said the wolf in his best Granny imitation. It is I, Little Red Riding Hood, said the girl. Oh, come in, my dear. I have the lights off because my eyes hurt. Please come close to me. Well, here came Little Red Riding Hood, and she said, Granny, I brought some treats for you from Mom. But as she got closer, Little Red Riding Hood thought, Granny does look sick. She must have something terrible wrong with her. First thing she said was, Oh, my, Granny, what big ears you have. Oh, all the better to hear you, my dearie, said the wolf, disguised as Granny. Granny, what big eyes you have, said the little girl. Oh, all the better to see you, my dear, said the wolf, disguised as Granny. Granny, what big teeth you have. Oh, all the better to eat you up, said the wolf, and he jumped out of the bed, and he chased Little Red Riding Hood all around the house. Red ran fast and fast and fast, and soon she heard someone else coming to the house. Who could it be? 
Can you guess who it was? It was the woodcutter. He was here to save the day. Mr. Wolf, you do not fool me. You may not bother Little Red Riding Hood or her grandmother ever again. Run away now, run away before I hurt you. Ah! Red found her granny in the closet and gave her back the hat and the shawl that the wolf had dropped as he ran from the woodcutter. Then Red said, Granny, are you okay? Oh yes, my dear. I'm a little shaken, but I'm okay. Well, Mama sent a picnic for us to have. Shall we do it? Oh, yes, my dear, said Grandma. We shall have a picnic together and be happy together. And they did. And they had a great day. And not only that, they had a great story to tell everyone about the day that the wolf came to Grandma's cottage. Did you like the story of Little Red Riding Hood? Do you think Red had any other adventures with her Grandma? or with the woodcutter, or even with that big, bad wolf? Do you suppose that wolf ever came back to the woods, or do you think he was scared away forever? These are all fun things to pretend about, and I hope you'll have fun pretending, whether it's about Little Red Riding Hood or some other story. Enjoy your imagination and pretend. Thanks for listening. <laughs>